Let's risk it all, guys. Is it closed? Let's risk it all. Go for it. Whoa! Whoa. Richards, it's your favorite chef here. Dude, I hope you're well. It's so nice to see you off the golf course for one and in the kitchen. Now, I know you used to work at a certain burger chain before, and come on, you and I both love burgers. So guess what, young man, the man who's now playing off scratch, honestly, um, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with a smash burger, but not any smash burger. A smash burger that doesn't use a traditional bun. So get that hair spiked and I can't wait to see what you'll be doing in the next level kitchen. Right, there we go. All right, listen, all right, Gordon, I love a challenge, especially when it's from you. And I think I have an idea. Welcome to Next Level Kitchen, where the mentors of Next Level Chef, of which I am one, are being put to the test by Gordon Ramsay himself to help take your cooking to the next level. And this week, Gordon challenged me to make one of my favorites, a burger, but with the next level twist to make a burger without a bun. Now, I've already raided the platform. I've grabbed a few things. I am going to be making a Greek-inspired smash burger, not on a bun, but on a tortilla. So first thing we're gonna have to do, of course, is to get our meat ready for our burger. This is some ground beef. Uh, and this burger here, it's like 80-20. What does 80-20 beef mean when you're shopping for beef? It means that it's 80% lean and 20% fat, and that's a perfect ratio. If you get into like 25% fat for ground meat, that's a sausage. And if you're less than 20%, it's too lean. So 80-20, which is your standard uh, mix that you can buy at the store is perfect for me and for you. So we got our ground beef in here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna season it, right? So I'm gonna season my ground beef from up high. Why? Because it looks really cool when you're seasoning from up high. You can do one of these. Hey girl. Hey girl. I don't know why I did the Ryan Gosling hey girl. I should never do that again, but you wanna season from up high not because it looks good, but because it disperses the seasoning throughout your meat. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper to it as well. And now we wanna give it that sort of Greek Mediterranean uh, sort of vibe as well. So I'm gonna add some of my favorite seasonings. And so I'm gonna use a little bit of cumin. I love cumin, one of my favorites, of course. Uh, to me, I'm gonna use allspice. Allspice is tricky, not a lot of allspice, just a little bit. And when I'm, when I'm seasoning, uh, with, a, with a spice that I don't want to add too much of. You notice that I take the spice and then I go to my hand. I don't just go from the container because then I could really, really put too much allspice, salt, sugar, whatever it is. So a little bit of allspice. Uh, then I'm gonna add some Hungarian paprika. This is a sweet paprika. When you are using paprika, uh, please make sure you know if it is spicy or sweet or smoked, okay? Because spicy paprika to me is really, really spicy. So you wanna be very, very mindful that it's sweet paprika. That's what that is. Uh, and then this is one of my favorite spices to use in a savory dish, cinnamon. It's not just for apples anymore, it's for ground beef. Just a little bit gives you that, I don't know what that flavor is. And there's a great example. I don't wanna add a lot of cinnamon. So I had too much here. Don't do that at home, because you'll have to clean it up. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I really wanna work this mixture, get all of those spices uh, going in the bowl, right? Again, so this is beef with salt, pepper. I can tell it needs a little bit more salt probably. Don't be shy on the salt, right? Don't be shy on the salt. And what I'm gonna do here is if this was like a mixer, um, I'm sort of getting that meat to come together. You know, sometimes you can even just sort of throw it, throw it into the bowl. And that's gonna help this smash burger stick to the tortilla. All right, listen, sort of just break these into balls for our patties. I'm gonna get ready to cook this and make a sauce. Uh, I'm gonna get my pan on the stove so that can heat up. And then here is my flour tortilla. Here's what we're gonna do. We have now our ground beef, beef mixture, our burger. It's spiced really, really nice, I can smell it. And listen, if something smells good, there's a good chance that it's gonna taste good. Except you can't smell salt. So that's the one thing, that's the one thing you can smell, all right? I'm gonna add a, maybe a little bit more beef to this. Uh, and again, I'm gonna smash this into the griddle or the pan. What you do wanna make sure is that it's a thin layer of meat and that you leave a little bit of room, almost like a pizza. We're kind of like making a pizza, 
Get this all the way out to the side. Nice and nice and thin. Okay, we got our pan heating up. I'm gonna add even a little bit more salt right to the top of that beef. I'm gonna add some neutral flavored oil, which is the chefiest thing that someone could say. What is a neutral flavored oil? Grapeseed oil, that's a neutral flavored oil. Uh, meaning that it doesn't have to be expensive olive oil. We're just using the, the uh, oil as a conduit to cook the meat and tortilla. And I don't know why I'm trying to sound so smart. Conduit, conduit. Okay, here it is, heating that up. Anytime we're cooking red meat, we generally want the temperature to be pretty high. If we're cooking chicken, turkey, uh, we might want the heat to not be so high, but we want to see actually a little bit of smoke. So my, my tortilla is off to the side. Well, that's uh, while the pan is heating up, I am going to start our sauce. And this is one of my favorite sauces of all time, not just in the lexicon of classic Greek cuisine, but like of all time, like ketchup, mustard, tartar sauce, tzatziki sauce. Everyone loves tzatziki sauce. So what is it? It is yogurt and cucumbers. Okay, and I'm gonna make this tzatziki. I need a box grater. And there it is. We get to throw, be careful, do not throw box graters at home because they're sharp. Just a quick little note right there. Okay, so we have our box grater. We have our hothouse cucumber. Uh, and some people, they like to peel cucumbers. Pfft, who has got time for peeling cucumbers? I don't have time for it. So I like to just, Great, the actual green part of the cucumber. It's got a little bit of bitterness to it, but I'm gonna add yogurt to this. And the yogurt has a little sweetness. So the bitter and the sweet sort of works out quite well together. So a little bit of cucumber right there. I'm gonna get ready to add my yogurt. This pan now looks like it's hot. And then real simple, it's a big tortilla, so I'm gonna be, be pretty mindful right here. There it is. And then you just want to let it cook, right? One of the number one mistakes a lot of cooks make, especially at home, is they put something in a pan and they just start messing around with it. And we want that meat to sear here. Okay, so while that's cooking, getting nice and golden brown and delicious, GBD, golden brown and delicious, the name of my new boy band with Gordon, Blaze, and we need a D. Naisha Joyce Arrington, there's not a D to be found. Okay, come on. Okay, here we go. That's getting nice and brown already. I like that. And then anytime I'm cooking beef, fish, something like that, I just wanna make sure that it's not sticking. You can tell that it's not sticking right there. Let that cook just for a little bit, a little bit longer. And get back to my tzatziki sauce. So I have grated cucumber in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of full fat Greek yogurt. If you're using if you're making this at home and you just go to the store and you buy any old yogurt, just please make sure that there's no sugar added to it. A lot of yogurt has a lot of sugar in it. And here, this is a savory dish. We don't want sweet yogurt with like vanilla, coconut, something like that. Okay, we're gonna do this. I'm trying to flip this over here. So we'll do one of these guys. Hold on, I get to look first. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, nice and seared. Uh, foldable. I'm gonna add now the tortilla back and brown the other side, just briefly. This is me being really like uh, happy with my own uh, achievement right there. That is a smash burger. I love how we got it nice and nice and thin. You can see the browning of the meat. That's called the Maillard reaction, the browning of proteins. That is about as middle school science teachers as I will get. All right, yogurt, cucumbers, salt, pepper. What else are we gonna add in here? My secret tip, dried mint. Dried mint and lots of it. A little bit of dried dill. Generally speaking, I like to use fresh herbs, but for the tzatziki, I love the dried dill and the dried mint. We put salt in there already. Um, and of course, there's gotta be lots of garlic. Lots of garlic. This thing's done, we wanna be able to fold it. Uh, and then I'm just gonna grate a little bit of garlic or a lot of garlic, however you wanna do it, into this dish. Knock it down in there. And we have our tzatziki, salt, pepper. Okay, I love my sauce. Chefs have to taste their food. It's delicious, it's delicious. Really, really garlicky. And I use a different spoon in there because I listen to the comments. I know that you don't want to put the same spoon back in there. Okay, now we have that done. We need a little bit of garnish for this. We need a little bit of garnish. 
Uh, but we're running out of time because Gordon has me under a, a, a quick, uh, quick time thing here. So we have these beautiful Greek olives, some Kalamata olives. We're just gonna chop these up and make a quick little salad. Personally, I love these little, these little tomatoes. Pull these off the vine real quick. If you want, if you have time, I don't, I'm up against it. Um, you can char these up, that's really, really nice. I'm just gonna sort of cut them in half and make this real quick olive, tomato, red onion and herb salad. Okay, we have this bowl right here, boom. Tomatoes. What do tomatoes want all the time? Anytime you cut a tomato open, first thing you should do, a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt. Not too much though, because olives are very salty. So you want to be very mindful of the other ingredients that are in your dish, right? So this dish, olives are salty, feta cheese, very, very salty. I'm getting too fancy with this. I'm trying to dice it, you can dice it, but crumble will be just as good. If you don't have feta cheese, salted ricotta would be great. Okay, some cotilla cheese from Mexico would be a great replacement as well. Okay, what else do we need? This is a salad, I said. I said that it's a salad, so it needs a little bit of dressing, a little bit of dressing. Put a little bit of, a little bit of olive oil in there. Why not? We'll just sort of stack on the flavors that are in the tzatziki, a little bit of mint, uh, fresh dill, fresh dill. I haven't chopped anything in a while. I kind of love chopping things. Let's see if we can do this. I chopped like that for no reason. I'm just trying to impress you. There's no reason why I needed to chop it like that. All right, a little bit of fresh dill. Look at this, cooking with passion, cooking with intensity. Let's mix this up real, real quick. It's missing vinegar. It's missing a little vinegar, no? A little vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Let's go for the throw. Let's risk it all, guys. Is it closed? Let's risk it all. Go for it. Whoa, he shorted me on that one. Shorted me on that one. A little bit of vinegar. Love it, right? We have some acidity from the tomatoes. Mix it up. Look at that salad, right? I mean, even if it's just going to go on top of this smash burger, it's something that I want to eat just as a salad. I think we can plate it over here. I also like this tip. More of a restaurant tip, but plate here and then move it to the actual plate, right? Do your dressing over there. So let's go. A little bit of our tzatziki. Again, my favorite condiment, maybe. Tartar sauce and tzatziki, they go neck and neck with me. And then a little bit of this amazing salad. Look at all, you got all these colors, you got all these textures, things that are salty, things that are sweet. These are all the things that I'm thinking of as a chef. I don't know if we'll be able to close that thing. And then, just because I can't resist, sometimes a chef is a chef. We have these beautiful little pea shoots, but you could use arugula at home. Garnished with this. I'm really excited about this. This is gonna be dinner for me. People are always asking, do you eat everything on the show? Yes, and some of it's not as good as this. So, I'm very much looking forward to this. Let's see, a little bit more olive oil. There it is, and there you have it, Gordon. A next level smash burger with a Greek inspired salad. Look at that. Thank you so much for watching. Now, please let me know in the comments what you think of the dish and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos. Thank you.